Good evening, uh, my name is Paul Simmons and it's probably no coincidence that we're sponsoring the shorts this evening. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we're, we're a clothing store and, and uh, we uh, pay particular attention to fashion and it's uh, again no coincidence that we derive a lot of direction from the film industry and we're very fortunate to be involved with the Silver Wave Film Festival and have all the talent and uh, uh, camaraderie and, and people in this uh, community that support the arts and us as a business firmly believe that the arts are an important part of our culture in Fredericton. Thank you very much for your support. Good evening everyone. Thanks Tony for inviting me up. Um, this evening at some point um, there will be um, a little showing of Arts NB's final uh, disciplinary um, <laughs> media arts clip. So we've, run, we've been running a series of, um, of promotional clips for each of the artistic disciplines that we support in this province. And uh, tonight's Friday night, it's movie night, <laughs> it's, it's the last clip. And it's sort of like, it's kind of perfectly appropriate that we're launching that clip um, at the end of the week and at the beginning of this festival. So um, there are a couple of people who are who have work in that clip who are here this evening, and one of those people is Tony himself. And uh, Pierre Morin, I think, is, in, is with us this evening as well. So uh, I hope you enjoy it, and thanks so much for having us. Now, at this stage, this is my favorite part of the evening, except for the films, of course. I'd like to ask all the filmmakers who are present tonight who have a short in this program to come up onto the red carpet and give an introduction to their film to the audience. Thanks, Tony. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Tony and Kathy for putting this on every year. It's uh, crazy how much work they put into this. And uh, uh, I've been lucky to be a part of the co-op for 15 years and see it evolve and develop. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud to, to see this lineup of filmmakers and we're gonna have a real good night. So. Uh, I'm going to introduce my, uh, well it's not so much a film, as a music video I did. Uh, I happen to be uh, the station manager for CHSR uh, up the hill there, Campus uh, Community Radio. And uh, I wanted to find a way to start to cross-pollinate with uh, musicians and filmmakers so that we can start to promote and give exposure to their music and to their uh, talents at the same time as promoting the visual uh, 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 skill sets that we have as filmmakers and uh, I made this for I don't know well we made it for pretty much no money uh, but we had great people behind it uh, I want to thank uh, Jeff Crawford my uh, director of photography he was absolutely amazing I don't think he's here tonight I want to thank my wife Natalie for being a hell of an editor and you'll see why uh, and uh, I want to thank uh, all the crew uh, that helped me on this and a lot of you are in the audience and I want to thank uh, uh, the band. The band was really gracious to let me uh, use their music to create this one. Uh, I thought it was a great opportunity to uh, showcase what I think is an incredible song. It's metal, it's heavy as fuck, so enjoy. <laughs> Uh, this is the first time for me, and it happened kind of almost by accident. Uh, I did the, the video, uh, video music, yeah, music video. Uh, it was it's called "You Can't Rely," and it was a song from Sabrina, who is my sister-in-law, who is right there. And the, the story is about uh, talking in in people's back and stuff like that. So we had a lot of fun doing this, and it was just for fun, though that film co-op inspired me to, to try to do it because I saw other people doing films and all that and uh, everybody uh, worked, uh, they just put their heart into it, it was just done for fun and somebody, I think it's Kathy, that uh, told me you should maybe submit it to, to the festival and it's here, so I'm very very happy of that, hope you enjoy. Hi, my name's uh, William Beatty. Uh, I'm actually up here on behalf of uh, Greg Melanson, who can't be here tonight. He's the writer and director of The Other Side of Charlie. Uh, first, I guess I'd just like to thank uh, ArtsNB, 
who was actually uh, fundamental in uh, getting us uh, what was called the Regional Funding Program, which uh, the other side of Charlie was a recipient of. Uh, and of course, I'd like to say thank Kat and Tony uh, and the co-op for helping us generously, as they always do. Um, and I guess I'd just like to say that this was uh, just a really excellent film to work on. I had so much fun. Everything just kind of went perfectly on it, which is sometimes rare. Um, had an awesome cast and crew, who I can see some of you here tonight. Um, and I'd also just like to uh, take a moment to uh, say how much of a privilege it was to work with uh, our late and dear friend Lex Jigarov, who was uh, one of the leads on the film. Um, I think. Uh, not just the film itself, but I think everybody who was around Lex uh, learned a lot and uh, had a lot of fun with them, and uh, it was just really an honor to work with them. So, thank you. Yeah. Gary's also the uh, producer for uh, Fred and Carla Park Rangers. Uh, I'm the screenwriter. Uh, my name's Ryan Griffith, and I'm a screenwriter from Woodstock, New Brunswick. Uh, we have a director on the project. His name is Greg Melanson. He's in Vancouver. We'd like to thank everybody who uh, <laughs> helped us make this uh, uh, make this film. Uh, all the cast and crew. We'd like to thank Kat and Tony uh, for the uh, short film venture grant uh, that we got to uh, to make it. And uh, I would like to thank my mom for coming down from Woodstock Aww. to see it. Hello, my name is uh, Peter Doyle, and I have two projects on the screen tonight. Uh, the first one's called Sarajevo. It's a song written and composed by a composer in St. John and Curtis Basque, uh, and it features a St. John string quartet. The second project you'll see tonight is Hometown. With Hometown, uh, I'm the sole creator of both projects, by the way. Hometown took me about two and a half, three years to make. And uh, through the struggles of computer breakdowns and camera breakdowns and my own dysfunctional habits and schedules and all that kind of stuff, my character on screen was searching for stolen money while I was searching for myself. And I found a little flame inside. I have to tell you, my father and my uncle were making films since 1950s. And through the process, I discovered that that little flame was inside of me, was brought to me by them. When I was a small kid, I got exposed to that. So this is my first time here at the Silver Wave. And um, my father's currently in the hospital. I couldn't be here tonight. My uncle lives in PEI. He's not here tonight. I did have a screening of my show uh, at the Empire Theatre in St. John back in the summer. My father came in his wheelchair. So tonight I would like to dedicate the screening of Hometown to my father and my uncle, Ed Doyle and Jim Spears, for their inspiration and allowed me to have a dream. Thank you. And I, want to, I also want to thank you for your participation in all the films doing tonight. Thank you. Uh, thanks. My name is Jeff Bateborup. Uh, I'm a member of the Fiddleheads comedy troupe. Uh, the work that uh, we have in tonight's showing uh, is a comedy sketch. It's called Closeted Chris, and uh, I'm the writer of it, and it was my first time writing, uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Ben Tivy New, and I directed Closeted Chris. I'm also part of the Fiddleheads troupe. Um, we shot this in one day, and I, I guess we hope you like it. And if you don't, he wrote it. <laughs> Hello, my name is Chris. My film is Buzz. Um, the first people I should uh, thank are Ken Tony and the film co-op. Um, the MB Film uh, uh, Short Film Venture Grants, we, we shot it with, with that. I'm very happy to have the support. Um, and I, I, I did write some stuff down here. Just a second. Um, this is probably my last one for a while, so um, I want to have the chance to thank people that have been on every one of my short films. I've, I've been to 
part of the co-op for about six years, and uh, there's a handful of people here who have worked on every single one of my films. So, um, you know, Britt Sparrow, uh, Rob Gemmel, um, of course my wife, uh, Proofs reads everything for me before I send it out. Um, Jordan Rory, uh, Josh Linton, and uh, see, the fold here. Uh, who else we have here? Danny, uh, and Dennis, Donovan, Richard, uh, Bun Tibby's been on a few, um, and I hope I'm not forgetting anyone. Uh, Susan Thompson's been a big part of the film she's been in. Um, so, and, and Jen Chisson, actually, who just uh, arrived, she's been a big part of everyone but, but Buzz, basically. So, um, thank you guys. Uh, I know that I wouldn't have ever made a single film without your support, so, again, just thanks a lot, and uh, you'll see a lot of the same names at the credits after, after the film, so. Uh, thanks again, and uh, I'm going to pass it back to Tim. Yeah, because I forgot to thank Harold's last, right? Thanks, guys. The guys that made the, the band, the music, and all that. Thanks, guys.